Hello, in this episode of Race Max Direct Tech, we are talking about upgrading your oil pump. Now, oil is the lifeblood of your engine, which makes the oil pump the heart of your engine. As you know, it pumps oil through the engine under pressure, so it can keep bearings working and lubricate all of the moving parts. Now, as you upgrade your engine to make more power and or increase RPM, quite often the factory oil pump just simply can't keep up or cope for a few different reasons. Now, one of them, the first one, is just flow. As you make more power, you quite often need more oil pressure to the bearings just to help keep things alive. Why is that? Well, as you increase power and RPM, things inside the engine can actually start to flex just that little bit more. So by having some extra oil pressure, you can protect those metal surfaces and stop them from coming into contact and causing wear or a failure. So quite often than not, the factory oil pump just can't keep up with enough flow. And obviously high RPM, that problem can get even worse. The second one is oil cavitation. The factory backing plates that you see on oil pumps quite often don't flow enough uh, and the oil can start sloshing around inside the pump, get air bubbles inside, uh, and this cavitation can lead to inconsistent or low oil pressure, which, as you know, can cause an engine failure or premature wear. And the last one is quite simply that the factory pump can just fail. The biggest reason is shock loading. Now, if you can imagine rev limiter or two-step or clutch kicking can just cause a lot of shock loading on the pump. And if you can imagine that back and forward shock loading, it does a lot of damage to a factory oil pump and the material just quite often isn't good enough and obviously high RPM can overstress the factory material and it can break. It can either crack uh, or totally separate and if you can imagine, that is a catastrophic engine failure. Now a lot of these oil pumps are a cast style material uh, and they just have like a sintered finish. So a lot of them just, well, they're just not that strong. Obviously some are better than others and some have plenty of myths surrounding them. But let's face it, as you start to upgrade power, there are certain engines that are just going to need an oil pump gear or complete oil pump upgrade. So what is the solution? Well, you can upgrade your oil pump gears, you can upgrade the backing plate, and you can also, in some instances, buy a complete new oil pump assembly, like what we've got here from the guys at Boundary Pumps. Now, the guys at Boundary Pumps are based in Texas in the USA, and they design, test, and they also manufacture all of their products in-house in their own facility in the USA. They also do final machining, hand inspection, and any hand finishing as required, and you get this little certificate with each either pump or pump gear or backing plate, etc. cetera. Uh, it gives you a serial number so they can trace it back to the original piece of material they used. Uh, shows you all of the pre-assembly inspection. Gives you some details about your pump. Gives you all of the clearances and tolerances that they measured on your pump or backing plate. And then it's personally signed by who did it uh, and comes with a warranty card as well. So I think that's pretty cool that they back their product that well and you get that little certificate. So Boundary redesigned the pump gears compared to factory so that obviously they're stronger. Uh, they're also designed to flow more and give better oil pressure. They're made of a billet chrome molly, which obviously makes them a stronger material than factory oil pumps. Uh, and then they're surface finished for multiple reasons. One, uh, less friction, which means less heat. Uh, they don't wear as quickly and obviously they last longer and handle better RPM. They've also managed to get the surface up to 16 times smoother than some of their competitors. Uh, why does that matter? Well, the smoother the finish, the less friction, right? Which obviously has multiple benefits. So let's use the Ford Barra six cylinder, four litre engine as an example. These are known to fail in high horsepower applications. In fact, it's just an essential upgrade to put billet gears into a Barra when you start making more power. So factory backing plate. Cast alloy, just very weak, very thin and flimsy. Uh, these are the factory gears that are known to fail. Let's compare that to the boundary one. So, straight up, the first thing you can see is that the gears on the boundary one are thicker. Thicker gears, going to be stronger. You can see they've redesigned the drive onto the crank itself and get rid of this little protrusion here, uh, which can become a weak point. And you can see it's got a lot more meat and a lot thicker on the boundary one. Just to note, the boundary pump gear won't actually go the inner gear won't go into the factory outer gear, so obviously they're paired and designed to work together. So that's the aftermarket boundary one. You pop that into the factory housing, like so. Uh, and boundary also offers the billet backing plate. So like we said before, the factory one's quite flimsy. It can flex. Now if this flexes, 
oil can actually work itself around the different channels and actually destroy oil pressure inside the pump. Basically, you start getting inconsistent oil pressure, you start getting cavitation. You can see the billet backing plate has much deeper grooves, they're chamfered a lot better, so it can help flow the oil through the pump housing a lot better, which means it has more consistent oil pressure and also means less cavitation. Another little bonus is when you put this on, it's nice and strong and it adds more rigidity to the pump, which means things can't flex as much, so less likely to get a failure. It also comes with fresh screws. Why? Well, these factory screws pretty much always get rounded on removal. So fresh screws, backing plate and a pump gives yourself a pretty good upgrade for the barra. Uh, they also have another oil pump gear available, which is basically the same, but has a Martin wear treatment onto the surface. So basically a better surface treatment to make it even stronger uh, and have even less friction again. The whole idea of the Martin wear treated oil pump gear is when you're going for very high horsepower applications, or when you want to increase RPM a fair bit over stock. Same sort of deal, that just drops in to the factory housing. And obviously with this, you'd always go for the billet backing plate to make the most of it. So all up, the boundary upgrade gear and backing plate is a pretty straightforward exercise. You can either buy a brand new pump housing from Ford or get your factory one, throw out the factory stuff and tidy it all up and put the fresh gear and backing plate on. Now they don't just make them for Barra, they've got aftermarket gears for RB26 and one pump. Uh, you can also get aftermarket gears for a few other engines such as Subaru and Honda. Uh, and they make a complete pump upgrade assembly for the Coyote engine as well as the Mazda BP engine for the MX-5. So that comes complete, you don't need to assemble it all and it's ready to go onto your engine. So if you want any more information about the boundary pumps you can go to their website or you can contact the guys at Race Max Direct. <laughs>